It's been nearly a month since Maricopa County Fire District sounded the alarm about a court decision they say could force them to cut essential services or shut down fire stations in your community. The ABC 15 investigators are following up on possible solutions and county fire chiefs tell us the clock is ticking and they have until the end of the month to adopt their budgets. This just came out of nowhere. Quasmire versus Maricopa County. It's a 2016 lawsuit few had heard about, now having far-reaching impacts on public services. It was a bomb. Chief Mark Burdick runs Arizona's Fire and Medical Authority on the hook to pay back nearly $6 million in property tax refunds because of that lawsuit. The assessor made a mistake, and we're going to pay back with interest. Last month, Burdick voiced his frustrations and concerns about how they keep providing services for the mostly senior communities they serve in Sun City West and Sun Lakes. Writing that check hurts tremendously, tremendously. Like I said, we won't be able to replace equipment for years. We'll marginally keep it running. As we've previously reported, this all happened because a judge ruled in favor of property owners who sued Maricopa County. They claimed they were overtaxed when their property went from a primary residence to a rental or secondary home or vice versa. In all, the county treasurer estimates it will have to pay back more than $300 million in property tax refunds. Hundreds of millions of dollars county taxing districts, like fire authorities, school districts, cities and towns, recently learned they have to repay in a single year. This is a very serious situation for John Flynn represents all the county fire districts. He says combined they owe $10.6 million in tax refunds. It will devastate our ability to deliver services. When you say reduce services, are we talking close fire stations, lay off firefighters? What are we talking about? All the above. Since our first story aired, Governor Hobbs signed House Bill 2909, giving many taxing districts financing options but it mainly helps school districts. And Burdick says the solutions aren't enough. The county will do its best to help them out. That's what Maricopa County Assessor Eddie Cook told us last month. Cook inherited the impacts of the lawsuit and doesn't agree with the judge's ruling. I'm very, very sympathetic for those fire districts and water districts and special districts that only have property taxes as their only source of revenue. And they're, they're the ones that probably suffer the most out of that. If the county doesn't come through, Arizona Fire and Medical Authority now says it's considering a tax increase for all property owners to repay the $6 million. Raise their tax by whatever amount to recoup this money. The tax would last for two years. We're told it will cost the average Sun City West homeowner around $50 each year. Sun Lakes property owners would pay more than $70. Burdick says they don't want to raise taxes but may have no choice. Can you either work with us or come up with a viable solution so that we don't end up taking this out on the citizens that we're serving? We will keep asking questions and our reporting will continue. I'm investigator Jennifer Kovaleski, ABC 15, Arizona.